I used to do these videos where I would use a random word generator to get inspiration for a Sims build and then just build whatever it says. And I haven't done it in a while, so I kind of want to try it again today. But first, we got new merch. Well, new colors of my current merch. A lot of you wanted a black version of the sensitive hoodie, so we did just that. And they are out right now on lilsimsyshop.com. So if you're interested, I got the link in the description box. I really like this and I hope that you do too. Okay, sorry. Sims builds. I'm warning you right now, some of these are super random. It is a random word generator, so we shouldn't be surprised. But like this one when I opened it is wine. <laughs> so that one's easy compared to the others. I'm gonna do it. Ready? Today's build will be inspired by three, two, one. Acceptable? No, I'm sorry. That's not, that is not acceptable. We can't know. Nut? My first thought was treehouse, but I just built a treehouse. I, let's try again. Invisible? Okay. Do you know what? This is not being useful for me at all. Prayer? I'm not building a church. Inspiration? That's what I'm trying to get! This is- okay. Do you know what? This is not going according to plan. Coffee! Okay, that- <laughs> that I can work with. Do you know what? That's actually really similar to the first one, the wine one. Coffee bar, wine bar, both kind of same vibes here. Let's build a coffee shop. I haven't built a coffee shop in so long. Okay! I'm kind of thinking we do it here in Newcrest. Lot type cafe. I'm not sure how I want it to look, so I might just wing it. And then we'll see. I don't know. I always feel like I'm really not good at building community lots in The Sims. And that's because a lot of times I just have no frame of reference for it. Like, I'm not gonna just build a Starbucks, you know? And also a lot of times coffee shops are like in big buildings. You know, like on this lot, each of these three sections might be a different shop. <laughs> and that's just not how The Sims 4 works. So I always have a hard time making like standalone buildings. I mean, we could build a Starbucks. <laughs> this one looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll build a Starbucks. Maybe I'll build this Starbucks. I should say. Wait! Oh, do you know what? The new kit, I hate to use the new kit after we all just complained about the new kit, but the new kit kind of works for this. And isn't there like a cafe looking? Oh, see? Oh my god, this works out so well. Although I don't think that's coffee. That's tea, isn't it? That's fine. Same thing, right? Same thing. The random word thing said wine, then it said coffee. And so I was like, how about tea? Yeah, I feel like I don't want it to be a full second floor. We're gonna really make use of platforms on this one. I feel like this is really weird. <laughs> This is what I get for trying to copy a, a real life Starbucks. No, there's potential here. No, we can make this work. This is gonna be really good. Just imagine how trendy it's gonna be, okay? Okay, would it be better to use the wider one? It also doesn't have tea on it, so maybe it works. Okay, I'm realizing now that I forgot to put a door on this, so that's a problem. This place feels very trendy. It's kind of fun. I'm wondering if we can pull off like some sort of- <gasps> Oh, is that weird? I'm trying to mimic that Starbucks sign, but it doesn't look right. I love platforms. I feel like we have so many more options now that we can use platforms for stuff like this. And we can put this on the back because I want to put the bathrooms in the back corner here. I feel like this is a good spot for the bathrooms and we don't really need to have windows in them because they're bathrooms. So we can make that work. Okay, I still don't have a front door. <laughs> I forgot again. Well, no, I've been thinking about putting some sort of side door. I guess we could have a side door on like both sides. Well, or maybe that's the main door and then you can access the patio from over here. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna use that for something. Mark my words. <laughs> I want that metal light thing. Okay, these are the floors from Get Famous. I kind of like how that looks. There's also the possibility of using like polished concrete for part of it, or we could do like a half and half kind of thing, huh? Or the polished concrete could be outside. I do like how it looks inside. We could do concrete floors in the bathrooms. I'm not sure how to landscape this. I feel like I want there to be a lot of concrete outside, but then I'm also unsure. I, uh, <laughs> I hate building community lots. I don't know how to do it. I don't know where to put <laughs> <laughs> the bar. Because part of me feels like this is a good logical spot, but then I worry about the line situation because your sims are going to be piling up in here. Oh, and then the color swatch situation. This is really not my vibes. Really not my vibes for this at all. That is upsetting. <laughs> okay, so then do we put it this way? Possibly. I want to use these counters, but they're not going to work, so I might just put them in the bathrooms because we can totally do it like that. I don't know why there's so much storage in a bathroom like this but there is. Oh my god, yeah, I hate the color of that countertop. <laughs> wow, that is ugly. Okay, if you search coffee, what do you get? That's fun. Those things both have potential for some, some something, going somewhere. This little neon coffee sign is fun. It's very small. <laughs> I don't know where we'd put it. This is more of a coffee menu. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> 
Maybe we put the menu on that wall and then I can keep this light here. The light's too big, but it's so cute. I really need to get my priorities straight because <laughs> that does not make any sense. I'm trying to figure out the best place for this hanging plant. I'm sorry, I'm spending way too much time on that. Okay, we want a bunch of exposed brick inside of this place too. I'm just trying to figure out where the best places to put it are. But hang on, why is this coffee neon sign smaller than all the rest of them? By like so much. I like it. I think that's really nice. Ooh, I'm not sure about the wood paneling with that wood floor. <laughs> I think that looks weird. I also wish this solid black wall didn't have the gray trim. <gasps> oh my god, this black tile is really speaking to me. Maybe put that outside the bathrooms. That's so cool. Do you wanna put that in the bathrooms? We shouldn't use that everywhere, but that's like, that's trendy looking. Is it not? Okay, that's fun. See, I'm kind of experimenting with this like monochrome look with like lots of black, but different textures on the walls. I like that tile. I think that's so cool. I'm wondering if I should use it. See, I don't know if I like it with the white. I like the solid tile wall. I think that's super cool, but I don't wanna use it on all the walls, so. I'm gonna come back to the bathrooms. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Oh, maybe that's good. The like cinder block. I still hate the color of the countertops. <laughs> I, you can't do anything about it though. Like the options are not good. I don't think I wanna use the black and white. I feel like the white is too stark, but maybe it's better because it doesn't clash as much. I need to sit on that. I think, um, I think I like the darker one better. That's interesting. I just wanna point out that I have filtered this by black and this showed up. Mm, I think the brick is fine. I think I'm happy with this. I'm gonna use the kits. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna use the industrial loft kit. This feels like a very good opportunity to do so, right? I really, really, really like this. Not sure about the plants anymore, but... <laughs> oh, we can put bookshelves there! Oh my god, this is gonna be good. There's really not a lot of wall space in here, is there? <laughs> I put too many windows. I think those magazines are realistic, right? Come sit down, have some coffee, read about mosquitoes from the mosquito stuff pack. <laughs> if this was not custom content, this would be very good. However, I'm not gonna use CC in this build because then you can actually download it. Although I have used a lot of packs, so realistically most people will not be able to download it. I'm feeling conflicted because I like this one, but also this one from City Living sort of fits really well on that wall. No, I don't know how to, uh... I don't know what to do. Oh, maybe that's a really good spot to put. Wait, that looks so good. Ignore the rest of the outside because I don't know what I want to do with the landscaping, but right now I'm trying to figure out what kind of clutter to put in this bookshelf. Oh, maybe another small living space. I like how that looks. Is it weird that it clips a little bit with the ceiling? I don't think that bothers me because you sort of like pretend that the top part is in the ceiling, right? Eee, I don't know about the wood. I guess we'll have to see. I'm just not sure if it looks okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Do we like that? I don't know. I'm kind of into the idea of like actual bar seating. But then I feel like it has to match. Then I feel like it has to be this bar. And we all know I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm really not sure what the best thing to do here is. I just feel like that's so realistic though. Oh, this dining chair from City Living matches those so well. Okay, I want to get some big plants. I feel like this place needs more green because it's very very dull at the moment. Okay, I'm actually gonna decorate the bathrooms now because I kind of feel like these have potential, although I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure what I want to do with them yet. Maybe I'll just put a full mirror on the back. Okay, maybe one of the city living paintings, like if we put this in there, we could do a different color on each of them. Oh, I really like that one though. Oh wait, let's let's do that. Let's pick one of the paintings for each room. They're kind of similar vibes, but different enough. <laughs> now I'm trying to think about like additional little clutter type things we could add, like lamps and, I don't know, <laughs> lamps. Lamps and lamps. Maybe a coat rack or like an umbrella stand. I feel like that's realistic. They'd have umbrellas that you could use. No, I don't like it. That clips with the plant. <laughs> I kind of like it though. I want something in the corner there. I feel like it needs some pizzazz. Couple random pipes. I don't know. This isn't very good. And now I'm trying to figure out what table I want to use outside. And I don't like any of them. I do think the city living one is best, but I might go for like a solid color instead of the pattern one outside because I don't want it to be too busy. Okay, I think that's reasonable. I wish there was an in-between of these two because that one's a little bit too big. I want it to be a little bit smaller, but that's too small. All right, got some tables, some lights. I think you might put plants up the side of this. I really like it, but I do not know how to landscape it. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't funny. I just, the thought of using Batu sort of made me laugh. <laughs> I'm not gonna, because that would be wrong of me. However, I do wish that I could because it's kind of nice. It's just so nice. 
all of it is just so nice. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Focus, Kayla. See, like this is kind of what we need. This sort of brick. These are too shiny. Okay, concept. We do the landscaping like that on the gravel. Maybe I put gravel everywhere. Oh, and then like actual pavement where you need to walk. That kind of works. I'm trying something new. I'm, I'm really unsure about this. So you're gonna have to bear with me here. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to get landscaping and make it not look ugly. I want it to not be ugly so bad. I just have this issue where I have literally no clue how to landscape community lots. I am so far out of my element. Okay, wait, we could stick like a little trash can back there. That's actually realistic, especially if people are eating outside, like that's gonna be so useful. Okay, I kind of like this concept with the pathway leading up this way too. I'm thinking and I think I figured something out. I'm trying to think about how to like end the gravel, right? Because I don't want it to go all the way to the back of the lot because the back of the lot would be weird. But if we did it something like this and the path sort of like frames all of the gravel, maybe that could work. Okay, okay. I think it's good. This took me so long to figure out, which I'm kind of embarrassed by it. I think I'm pleased with this. Maybe if there was something else right here, hear me out, rocking chair. Just one, just in the back. I think that's a nice touch. See, I can see that being very useful. What if we did candles on the tables? Is that weird? Just the outside ones. I think it's fun. I'd come here. There you go. Random word generator build. I've done some fun things because of that challenge. I built like a hot dog restaurant once. <laughs> built the coffee shop. And I can see myself bringing Sims here. Like I'm gonna use this. Nice work team. I'm sorry I used so many packs. That I do genuinely apologize for. But you know what? It's cute. You know what else is cute? LilSimsyShop.com. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, on that note, I'm gonna go. Make sure to leave a like and comment and, you know, subscribe and stuff. And um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. See, I'm a YouTuber. I know how to plug things.